Welcome to Tony's Brick House. In this video, I've got another Brick Mania kit. It's the Striker Armored Fighting Vehicle, original design by John uh, Canpia. I apologize if I probably butchered that way, way out of recognition. Skill level of three, contains 412 Lego and Brick Arms elements. I really like the striker. Don't know if I mentioned that. Um, well, let's get started with the box. Their new box, as always, is great. Kind of reminds you of opening like a loot crate or something. Of course, it's got their tagline. Winners aren't born, they're built. Also came with they're regular, pretty good instructions, easy to read, even uh, for somebody that uh, whose eyesight isn't quite great like mine. All right, the Striker. This is a good looking kit. To be honest with you guys, it took me a week to build this kit. So, to get started, I was part of the way into it. They sent me this piece. It was supposed to have been this piece. This one isn't called for anywhere in the kit. This one locks down on two studs inside of the striker, where, of course, this one wouldn't, so that ground the build to a halt. I contacted them. You know, they said they were sorry. They would send one out. It just so happened that I had to place some brick link orders at the same time. Sorry about all the noise. So I didn't have any of these in my stock, so I ordered some. I actually got the brick link ones first, so I completed the build with that. So inside of the striker, there should be a gray this, which this is the piece that Brink Mania sent to me, there's a dark gray one. I don't care. I'm not pulling it back apart to change this piece. Um, they sent this piece to me. This piece is not called for anywhere in, th this was actually in the kit. It's not called for anywhere in the instructions. I've looked through several times it would be easy to think it was called for because that kind of looks like it, but that's not. That's something different. I'll get to that in just a minute. So, you know, if, if I overlooked where this goes and I'm harping over something I shouldn't, I apologize, but it's an extra piece, I guess. So the instructions are pretty easy to follow. I'm going to show you one page in here. That kind of annoyed me. All right, so you see how the striker looks here. It's supposed to look different. Kind of that is supposed to be shorter. That is made up of two pieces, a round piece and a little one by one bar. I did not get that piece. So that was two pieces, well one piece, a wrong one was substituted, I guess both of them really. And instead of that little piece, I got this long bar. This isn't called for anywhere the in, in the instructions, so I, it has to be a substitution. I'm using it, I'm not contacting them. So far now, there have been three times that I've got a wrong piece or had a piece missing from a Rick Mania kit, which really isn't bad because I do order a lot from them, and they're always really good about taking care of it, but the striker here kind of frustrated me, so that just kind of, you know, made the frustration worse. It really does look good.
As I said before, the Striker is a vehicle I really like. You do kind of have a play feature. You can steer it with the machine gun, which I keep tearing off. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing with a camera between me and the kit. So this doesn't come with a minifig, which is fun. These didn't come with it, but I always keep a bunch of these extra. Yeah, I know these are World War II Marine grunts, but I use these for everything. They drive my ambulances, they drive my tanks. If you don't want the Marine uniform on it, throw a brick arms vest on there. You can put another helmet on. I mean, these are fairly cheap. So anytime they have a minifig sale or I have a coupon or something, then I'll buy four or five, six of these. So anyway, here's where the driver would sit or basically stand, I guess, to drive. I like the looks of the lights on the front. I guess this is for towing because I think think there's been a tank or two that's had something similar and like if you were towing it you would hook a couple together somehow not sure somebody knows let me know got a couple more hooks on the bottom I'll warn you now the side panels love to come off uh, they'll come off just because they want to you've got the three antennas on top the back hatch. I like the fact that it's got tail lights on it. I don't know why I like that. You've got your back gate which turns into a loading ramp. On top you have two hatches that come up. So I guess you could have a couple guys up here looking back with machine guns you have a hatch here not really happy with this hatch pull the machine gun off because that makes it easier the way these sit and I have looked you know again at the instructions you look at the picture that is really hard to open I may change this and put a uh, two by two square because with this that two by three always hits that so now to close that the easiest way to do it is to take the top off and close it which the top does come off fairly easy <laughs> so do the antenna so the top for the back is really if well it's only held on by these two pieces here I kinda wish there was a third mounting spot or so in the back but you've got plenty of cargo room in there from here you can see the mechanism to turn the wheels honestly I could have done without that you know I would have liked more like storage room in there but I mean it is a pretty neat feature and see how they turn I had to stop several times, several times, building this, even after I got the replacement part, which was for the gearing. At one point, I, I stopped, took a break, reminded myself how much I really liked the Striker, then went back to it. Interesting design underneath. These caused me a little bit of a pain to get in there set right. I mean, I don't mean to just sit here and trash the kit. I don't usually get very negative. You know, I like the looks of it. It's going to look great sitting on my shelf with the rest of my Brickmania kits, or actually the bookcase with the rest of my Brickmania kits. I'm not going to play with it. You know, that's a neat feature, but maybe if you were going to, you know, if you were a kid or if you wanted to play with it, drive it around, you could, but... 
I don't really do that for Brick Mania. You know, I don't really do that with any of my Lego sets. <laughs> and I keep knocking antennas off. So these are really good for like setting up, you know, like a battle scene. Again, I apologize. I really can't see what I'm doing for the camera. Alrighty, I'm just uh, messing this thing up all the way around. Go ahead and take this off. Close the hatch good. I even went back and watched Brickmania's video on this kit to see if I've done something wrong. And honestly, I can't see anything there that I have done wrong in regards to that hatch. So overall, I do like it. You know, it looks really good. I have no plans on buying any of the add-on packs for this kit, you know, at this point in time. In fact, last time I looked, I think they were out of stock, the Strikers and the add-on kits. But, you know, this is a good addition to the collection. I'm gonna get one or two of these guys, like I said, well, I've already got them. I'm going to throw a brick arms vest on it. I'm going to have him drive in the tank. Well, tank. The striker. Armored fighting vehicle. So, anyway. That's kind of what it looks like. You could have the back hatch open here, have one set up using a machine gun. But I did pick this kit up while they were having one of their site-wide sales. That's honestly when I do most of my Brick Mania shopping. I am an elite member, so I do get that extra little discount off. So it works out pretty good when you can you know, use that in conjunction with a site-wide sale. Anyway, again, sorry if this video was too negative. I just had a lot of issues with this kit. Normally, I don't have that many. But, you know, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when I do another video. And I hope everybody has a great day.